<laughs> hey, this is a mukbang. I got a glizzy. <laughs> Let me get to it. Hold on. The queen. Okay. I wanted to chat. Alright, so. I feel like. Like, there's a situation I'm in. But I feel like it's, it's done. I ended it quick. Because I was in a similar situation a while ago so with saying that i feel like i was in a battle not with the person but myself i'm in a battle with reacting like the old me first how i should react and i think i chose correct i'm now acting like i should so the situation is <clears throat> i feel like i'm always put not always just once again, I'm put in a situation where there's a guy and I don't want no type of relation of like liking or flirting or anything, just strictly friendly. But there's a girl that comes along and wants to take the guy to be her friend and possibly more than friend. Go ahead. I was only friendly with him. But it reminds me of like when I was younger like that happened. Um, the situation now is, um, it has to do with like work. I don't really wanna get in too into it just in case they see it. <laughs> and I'm, please, I'm not pressed. If you do see this, I'm not pressed at all. But I'm just saying it reminds me of an old situation because when I was younger, I was friends with this guy. And maybe when I was younger, it might have been a little feelings, but not too much, but he stayed a friend. And then this girl just came along and was like, I want him to be my friend. I want to be more than friends with him. And it's like, okay, but it's like, the passive aggressiveness, being in my face about it. It's like, do what you gotta do, who cares? It'd be like, even if it was serious, let the guy choose. If he gotta choose, <laughs> y'all might know who he gonna go with. Not to say I'm better than anybody else, but y'all kinda know my vibe right now. Like, I'm a good vibe. And anybody who's even coming off on trying to take someone from me you're already coming off with not good energy so but yeah it reminds me of when i was younger that happened some girl wanted my guy friend <laughs> not boyfriend <laughs> guy friend and i was like have him sure have some fun like what like i don't know why it just happened again so it's just remind and the funny thing about it I think, was I the same age as the girl that's doing that now? I probably was like 22. <laughs> Maybe that's the age thing. Maybe. Maybe you go through that type of lesson in life where it's people trying to take your man but it ain't no man for me because i don't ever have no boyfriend so they'll be trying to take my friend but that happens also when i um i think when i have friends that are a girl it'd be like somebody be trying to come take my friend and i let them take a, a girl that's friend too like okay i want to be her bestie then be her bestie like i'm not pressed honestly but it's because i enjoy like keeping to myself that's why so yeah i don't have that um sometimes there's something that's in young girls that they they need to feel like they gotta be super close to someone whether it's a man or a woman 
friend, like they need somebody. I don't know what that is. Cause that's what I pick up when um when that happens. It's like, what's wrong with that person? Why can't they just chill out and just let it naturally take its course? Why you gotta force someone to like you or act like a pick me for someone to like you or be your friend? Just vibe. Like if that person happens to grab or like happens to gravitate to you more than let it happen. I don't know. I'm able to talk to anybody, man, woman, any anyone. I don't know. People got to learn to just let it let it ride. Don't force anything. And y'all forcing it, and that's why it don't ever work out right for the ones who try to come against me. If you forcing it, it's not gonna end right. You. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Mm. But yeah, I could have reacted like I did in the past. But it's not that serious. In the past, I got tight. Like, I'm like, why are you coming over here? Like, we got our crew, we got our friends, I got my friend. Like, why are you coming over here? You're doing too much. Like, it was getting me tight. Like, why are you gonna take my friend? Like, I'm comfortable, I'm happy with a friend. If someone wants my friend. <laughs> Even with the girl too, it's like I'm comfortable with my girlfriend. Yeah, y'all trying to take my friend like back off. But now I'm like I'm chill. I'm like, cool. You want this person to be more close with you? You can have them. Let it run its course, and we'll see. I'm cool off a lot of things now. Cause I've now I'm like I kind of got back to myself aware. I have to remind myself, don't hold on. Cause my true nature is to be low key by myself anyway. So it's like maybe that person. You know what it is? Someone said it one time. Sometimes if you seem happy, people think it's a thing or someone that's making you happy. So maybe because I always seem up and happy because I would talk to people and stuff or was hanging with certain people, they thought that person was making me happy. No, I'm happy with myself. Whew, I just had an epiphany. That's what it is. People will think it's a thing or a person that's making me happy, but it's not. It's not. And I'm still happy. They took those friends. And I'm still happy. <laughs> you gotta learn to love yourself and enjoy your own company. And that's how you be happy. Wow. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Wow. Well, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to say after that. I, I nailed, nailed it on the head. Just what it was. I was able to answer my own question. Well... Always keep in mind. <laughs> Always keep in mind that thing. <laughs> Always keep in mind. Have people around that add to your happiness, that doesn't subtract from your happiness, and not your only happiness. You have to be happy and others can add to it. Because even if they are taken away, you're still happy. But that's self-work. You got to work on yourself. You got to grow. It takes time. It's not overnight. But yeah, that's what it is.
it takes lessons and things and stuff like that. That's really what it is, now that I'm realizing. Wow. Well, all right, let me get to bed, cause, um, excuse me. <laughs> I gotta get up early for work tomorrow. I'm working five days in a row and I have not cooled out yet, so I'm proud of myself. But yeah, I'm gonna try to stay strong and keep my energy up. Actually, my energy has been doing well. You know what I've also been taking? I've been taking these little mushroom gummies and I was taking this B12 gummies because I think someone said B12 is good for you because I actually saw a video of firefighters fighting a fire and they said that after being around so many toxic chemicals and air and stuff, they, be ha they get like B12 vitamins and something like that. So I guess that helps get toxins out your blood or something. They do something, but it's been helping me. I, I've noticed that. B12 and like little mushrooms. It, it's not the psychedelic kind, but it's the ones that try to help with your memory and energy and stuff. Like energy boost. So that's been helping too. But all right, let me go. Um, yeah. All right, I got more videos on the way, of course. Um, but yeah. Okay. Good night. Bye.